In this week's video, I'm going to be challenging myself to wake up at 6 a.m. every day for a week as someone who does not have a good sleep schedule. Good morning, it is 6, 12 a.m. right now. Um, I had really weird dreams last night. This was the first day that I'm waking up at 6 a.m. I was like with my study abroad friends that like my old ones from like the last time I went to study abroad, but I was in the new place that I'm going to study abroad. It looked weird. I don't know what was happening. Today, I'm probably going to, I have a dentist appointment. I have to go to that, but that's not until 10.45, so I have like, a good four-ish hours to do whatever I want. So I'm probably gonna journal, write some of my internship essays, eat breakfast, get dressed, which is like my favorite part of the day. So, and I'll take you guys along with me. Okay, now that I've been writing some of my essays and doing a little bit of emails, I have decided that I'm going to start doing my hair and makeup and pick up my outfit, which is, I already said, my favorite part. If you want to see my little setup that I have, this is her. I'm using my phone because I don't know how to use my camera, so. Alright, it's now 7.30. I'm just gonna do a little bit of makeup. Oh, my light's dying. I like to shape my eyebrows even though I don't really think it does anything for me. I just sort of go like this and tell myself that something's happening. See, I don't, I don't think that did anything for me. I love her. It's like $10 though. This is my hair. This is gonna be my hair for the day. This is day one of my makeup and hair all done for, oh, I love my earrings, for the waking up at 6 a.m. challenge. I'll show you my little outfit right now. This shirt and then I have just really basic jeans. So yeah. Good morning everyone, it is. 6 a.m. on Tuesday, I just woke up. I actually woke up a little bit before my alarm today, which is interesting. I woke up at like 5.50, 5.57, stuff, something like that. And I am not gonna record a lot today because I'm just gonna wake up and I have to start making like phone calls and stuff, but I did not take a nap. Usually I take a nap basically every day. I didn't take a nap yesterday at all, and I went to bed at a reasonable time. It was like 11.30. Usually I take naps during the day. Like the day before I started this, I took two one and a half hour naps. Yesterday I didn't take any naps and I'm up the entire day. I also realized that I haven't recorded any time I'm eating like breakfast or anything, but that's just because I'm not used to eating breakfast this early. So I like ate breakfast yesterday at like 10 and I didn't record it. And I'll probably do the same today. I may, I think I'm gonna have hot cocoa this morning.
Hey everyone, so um, you just saw a little montage of my breakfast. I'm having hot cocoa and a bagel. So good. I just got done. I took a shower, got dressed. Um, overall, waking up early has been really good. I've really liked it. I think the only challenging part is having to go to bed earlier to be able to wake up later. Um, that part I have not liked because I'm very much a night owl. Hi everyone, so it's currently like around 9 p.m. Um, I just wanted to review my first and second day before I started on with talking about the third, fourth, and fifth. Um, I feel like I've gotten a lot of work done and I really like that from like 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. when I would normally be sleeping, I'm able to do other things and I can like check my emails. I'm to like do my makeup, do my hair, which I normally don't really put a lot of effort into. So I do really like that. I do feel like I could use my time a little bit more productively by maybe going on a run, going on a walk. Maybe I'll like do a face mask, something like that. Right now I'll be journaling about studying abroad, my experience for the past couple days, just really anything that's on my mind. Everyone, it is exactly 6 a.m. today. I wanted to talk about how I'm feeling, like if I'm well rested i know yesterday i talked about not cooking naps um i took a nap last night because i lost my phone and i was like i'm feeling a little tired maybe i'll take a nap and i started it and i took a nap at 8 p.m but i did wake up from the nap and then i went back to bed at 12 12 30 ish and i woke up at six so we're gonna see how that goes today Hi everyone, so I woke up at 6 a.m. again today. It's around 6.20, it's like 6.19 right now. I decided to stop scrolling on my phone and actually film something this morning. I've decided I'm going on a morning walk. I know I said I was gonna be a little bit more productive and I think this is a very good way of doing so. I feel like I really should have more of a schedule of my morning, like from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. when I normally would be sleeping. And I think doing this morning walk is very beneficial. I will probably only be doing this like once or twice in this video, but in my everyday life, I really wanna continue this waking up at 6 a.m. So we'll see how that, we'll, we'll see what happens. I looked up the benefits of morning exercise on my lovely laptop, and I just want to read them out to you. There are five benefits to morning exercise that are listed here. First is that it helps avoid distraction and it helps you stick to a schedule and routine. The second is that it improves your overall health and cognition for the day. The third is that it encourages you to eat healthier and boost your metabolism. The fourth is that it reduces the risk of diabetes, high blood pressure, and obesity. The fifth is that it improves your sleep and your sleep duration. I very much think improving my sleep and my sleep duration is very much needed for me. I have always had a very crazy sleep schedule. So and even now I still go to bed late and wake up and I'm waking up early. So we'll see how that goes. currently on my walk right now it's freezing out i i wore my jacket but i didn't realize that it was going to be this cold 
<laughs> but I've been walking for about like five minutes and I'm already freezing. So we'll see how long I stay out here. so cold i literally walked for about 10 minutes but now i'm heading back up to my room to go on my laptop So I wanted to do a little review of my week since I just finished Friday. Um, I felt that it was not hard to get up, but it was hard for me to stay awake, which that has always been a problem for me. And I think this challenge has really got my circadian rhythm to a sort of normal area. Um, I'm starting to get tired more. At the beginning of the week, it was really hard for me to go to sleep. But now I'm starting to get tired at around 11, 11.30. And that's really big for me because usually I like am laying in bed for hours not knowing what I'm doing <laughs> and how to fall asleep. Oh, another thing, I definitely felt the most productive the day that I went on my walk and the days where I did the time-lapse recording of me doing my work. I think the time I was recording was because it was a lot of pressure to be like, okay, I can't move, I can't talk, I can't do anything, I just need to do my work. And that definitely helped me get in the groove of doing work. I also am really excited for these internships, so that definitely helped. Um, and I think the walk, it was just so nice to get fresh air. And I am definitely gonna continue waking up at 6 a.m. And I'm also definitely going to continue doing the walks and maybe I'm gonna time-lapse me doing work. I feel like if I time-lapse myself doing work, time-lapse myself doing studying, I'll have more extrinsic pressure to do my work. Okay, so that concludes my waking up at 6 a.m. video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you wanna see more videos by me. Um, next week, I'm going to be posting a packing slash moving abroad video of me getting ready to go abroad and then me like at the airport, getting ready, get, seeing my dorm room, all that stuff. And then the week after that, I'm going to show a review of all of my classes and take you guys along with me. Bye!